And today I'm going to show you how to use the Global Free Classified Ad Submitter software. Okay, first thing you need to do is come to the site, globalfreeclassifiedads.com, and register. Sign up. You click there to register. Okay, you're going to fill out all your information. Go, it's pretty self-explanatory. Your first name, you choose your country, your email address, um, you fill out the security code image. You, you choose your username, and you choose your password, and you confirm, and then you click Yes, I accept, and then Submit. And then what's going to happen then is you're going to get a confirmation email. Okay, now it's going to go to your email box, whether it's your Gmail or Yahoo, uh, email box, wherever, wherever you get your email, whatever email account you used, and you'll get an email like this, Registration Confirmation, and you click on the link. Once you click on the link, you are confirmed. Okay, you've chosen your own username and password, and you're registered on the site. Now, the next thing you need to do is come on over to the software. I've assumed that you've downloaded and opened up the software. So, here are your options. You can include images with your ad, which is great. So, you can inc include here uh, an image or up to five. So, if I want to include an image, I'll just come to my hard drive where I have the image, click on the image, click open, the image is there. Next, you have to choose the currency of your product. If it's a U.S. dollar product, choose U.S. dollar. You also have the options of um, Canadian, Australian, as you can see, British pound, and even in India. Okay, choose your currency, your country, you have these countries to choose from, United States, Canada, UK, Australia, India, and you're good to go. Uh, number of cities you want to submit to, you can submit to a maximum of 500 cities, it posts to random cities. So you're going to post a different city every time you start and stop the software, <clears throat> which gives you the most variety. Say if you want to post to 100 cities, you can put that to 100. Say if you just want to post to 10, you can post to 10 random cities. Uh, or 500. Up to you. Now you have a postal code. You have to put this in. This is required. The software will not work without a postal code. Put in your postal code or any uh, postal code that is relevant to you, your product. Uh, you, if you have this uh, currency chosen, you have to choose a price. That's required. So put the price of your product. If you want, you can just put one for one dollar, or you can make it free or make offer. Okay? You have that choice. Phone is optional. Here, you put your website in here, under the website. Now, this will show up at a nice clickable link on the website, which is great um, to do that for you. Now, you have your username. This is the username you used when you signed up on the site. And this is the password you used when you signed up on the site. This will allow you to log into the software. Here, you put the titles of your ads. Now, in order to get your ads to go live, you need to have lots of different titles. And I'm going to show you how to do that in another video. You have to have lots of different titles and alternate them using spin tags. It's very easy, and I will show you how to do that in another video. But just so you know basically how it works, you put your titles in here. And then you put the description of your ad in here. It does not take HTML, so if you're using HTML code, that won't work. But what you can do is put, you can put links in there. They won't be clickable. Um, but you can put like a simple one paragraph ad, and this website link will be clickable with a call to action. So you do have one clickable link allowed. But you have to put that in the website field. And you put your basic description here. Again, you can spin many different descriptions, and that is uh, encouraged as the site will not take the same ad over and over again. You can't just put the same exact ad copy over and over again. But we will show you how to come up with lots of titles and descriptions very quickly in another video. It's not very hard. Now, you need to go and choose the category. Now, for this, this software will post to any category. But what you've got to do is go to the site and look at the categories. All right, now say here we are at the site homepage and we see all the categories. First thing you need to do is say if you wanted to post in the business opportunities categories. This is the main category. I, I would take a copy and paste this. It's case sensitive, it has to be exact. I would come over here to the software and in my category one, put business opportunities. Now for category two, uh, I'm gonna have to come back here to the site and look at the subcategory. I have all these subcategories. Now say if I wanted to work at home, this is the category underneath business opportunities. But I have all these choices, and I can post to any of them. So I find the subcategory, and I come in here and put work at home. Now, for a lot of categories, they're just a main category and a subcategory. But for others, you have to dig deeper. You have to go click on um, click on the actual category and see if there's any subcategories underneath it. You might have to put a third or even fourth category, depending on which category you are submitting to. For example, say if I wanted to sell something in the for sale, then the subcategory health and beauty. Well, I click through underneath for sale. Here's the main category for sale. Okay, now I'm, I say I have a health and beauty product. I click through here to health and beauty, and hey, I got all these subcategories. So that's a third category. So I have to put that in there too. Say it's beauty skincare. Um, then what I want to do is copy and paste this exactly how it is. Okay, it's got to be exact with the dash and everything. And um, 
what I'm going to do is put that into the software in the third category. So I'm going to have, for this category, unlike the work at home category, I'm going to have three separate categories. I'm going to have for sale, health and beauty, and beauty and skin care. Okay? So I would have for sale in the main category, health and beauty in the next one, and the skin care, you know, right here. For the third category, see, in some categories you have a, a third and even a fourth subcategory. Some, like business opportunities, just have a secondary category. So you go to the main category, you copy and paste that, then you look at the subcategory that you want to post to, you cut underneath the main category, and then you check to make sure there's not a third category under the second one, and if there is, you put that in the third category. But for our purposes now, um, we're just going to use the business opportunities, work at home, and that's fine. Now, the next, what you want to do is proxies. That's optional. You don't have to use them as you want. Um, I'll show you in the manual how to do this. You just put the proxies one per line. i show you exactly in the manual. I'm not going to get into that here. Uh, you have the username for the proxy, username for the password, and the number of proxies minus one. If you're using ten proxies, you put nine there. It's that simple. But you don't have to use proxies for this. That's an option. So now you'd be ready to go. You have everything. Okay. And you just click run, and the software is going to submit for you. Here the software is logging in, and it's putting in the username and password. It's going to log in for you. You've got to put the password in. Huh. So here the software is logging in for you. Now here it's choosing the category for you on autopilot. It's choosing uh, business opportunities, and then it's going to move on, choose the subcategory, because um, up here you put your category and then subcategory. Now we're in the second category. It's going to choose work at home. See, it's just choosing it automatically because you chose it up here. And then it's going to go in and fill out all your information. It, it's taking one of the titles up here from the spun titles and put it in, putting it in. Now it's putting the description in, and it'll alternate titles every time. And you can also alternate descriptions, and you need to have unique content for the site and come up with lots of different, um, lots of different titles and descriptions. And I'll show you how to do that. But as you can see, it's filling everything out here for you, and it's going to submit the ad for you. Right on autopilot. So when your ad goes live on the site, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, you'll have your description here, which is a text description, and you have a link here, which is clickable to your website. So if someone clicks here, they're going to go directly to your website. If someone clicks here, contact seller. Um, they can contact you and also request more information, okay? So this is what a live ad looks like. You can also visit your website here. And for every ad that you place, you're going to get a confirmation email that looks like this. Your listing has been placed successfully. You don't have to confirm anymore, okay? Once you've signed up for an account, that's it. And there are no capture services either. You just need to register and confirm account one time. And then you click here, and this will take you right to your ad. Here's the ad. So that's basically it. Um, so if you have any other questions, please uh, to get more information, click the link in the description below.